Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Ignore my eyebrows. I don't know what's going on with them today, but they're not, they're not cooperating. Anywho, today I thought I'd play with some wet and wild and wet and rock items. Oh look, this is what, like the uh, iconic London spray. So, but I think it's supposed to smell coconut. Oh yeah, definitely coconut. Ooh, okay. So, um, yeah. If that sounds interesting to you, and you don't mind that I have a special needs child that may wake up and be noisy in this video, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I zoomed you guys in. I have my honest blush your primer on. I'm going to spray a little bit of this right now. That's gross. Anyway, I'm going to let that dry on my face with my conscious silk canvas and my moisturizer that I got in my boxy charm. If you haven't watched that video, I'm trying this out for a couple days. See what I think of it. But anyway, let me get my eye tape on and yeah, let's get this project started. Alright, so now that I have you up close and personal, this is what the palette looks like. And yeah. I thought for an affordable video I look, I would, yeah, give it a shot. So I'm going to tap out any creasing I got going on. And then I'm going to take my Morphe E22 into this coconut connoisseur right here. And I'm going to set everything down. It's been a minute since I used Wet n Wild Shadow, so. We'll see how they perform. Alright, so with my tiny little BH brush I got here, I'm gonna, I think, start out by some Anaconda in the front part of my crease here. And we'll see how they perform. I didn't pick up a whole lot on this first dip because, I, like I said, I wasn't sure how these were going to perform. But I wanted to... get going here. A bit darker than it appears in the pan. gonna take a bit of a denser but still smaller little blending brush here this is the BH Pro number eight and I'm gonna pick up some venomous, Oop, venomous right here let me see if this folds back oh yeah that's gonna work out much better I'm gonna take this shade right here and work this on the outer V doesn't look all that different from that first shade. There we go. I really loaded it on the brush. Well, it's still not looking a whole lot different than that first shade. A little bit, but not much. really want to stick right there for some reason. There we go. I'm not going to take any additional products with this brush that first, that second brush we used. Just try to buff this out a little.
I guess I'm gonna have to cut my, actually cut my crease today, cause, yeah. Now I'm gonna take my Sigma E42 into this alpha shade right here. I like the little flecks of sparkle in there. I'm sure they're not gonna stay on the eye, but. I don't want to get too carried away with this black, but I do want to add some definition. See what I'm talking about? And once I get done with this step, I'm gonna do a little half cut crease situation and yeah and like I said that um that glitter is gone that's in this shade but that's typical I've heard some people say they just do that to help it to blend and I've you know heard people say it's for stamping on anyway I suck at cut creases. It's official. Lexi 245 into let's do big peacock energy right here. And we're gonna put this on this outer portion here. Like in the middle a little bit. That is beautiful. You gotta love a shade that you don't even have to spray. I've been getting a lot like that lately. Look at that. Ooh. I really like that. I might have to put that on a little more wood. I'm going to leave a little bit of that top for the next shade we're going to use. Alright, so I'm going to use the other side of that brush, the clean side, into King of the Jungle. This really pretty gold right here. And I'm going to put that on that um, inner and right along the top here. Oh, yes. I really like that. Gonna take that Sigma brush again into that black alpha shade and pick up just a tiny bit. Just to work on this outer V and blend the shimmer. And a little bit more of Venomous, that darkest green, to blend it out. Going to use my little sample Kat Von D liner again today. And then I'm going to get my face. I'm going to get the majority of my face done, and we'll be right back. And Makeup Miracle, we're back. <laughs> Products will be listed in the description box. I'm going to start out with my Sigma E65 Angled Brush into that black alpha shade. And I'm going to put this... 
on the outer third. Meeting it up with that wing. Gonna take this fair 105E pencil brush and pick up. I think I'm gonna put some of this shimmer on this lower lash line. I really like a shimmer down here sometimes. Ooh, hopefully, we don't get too much fallout. That is a sick pigmented shade. Now I'm going to take a bit of a fluffier brush. This is the Morphe M321 into that lightest shade we used just to help buff everything out. going to put a bit of gold mine from Urban Decay in the waterline. I wish that was just a little bit more pigmented, that gold mine. Anyway, Anastasia Mascara to finish off this lower lash line. And I think I may put one of the highlighters in my inner corner. We'll see. Alright, so in this little duo, I love how it has the BR for Brett and I'm wrong. We have a pink side and a gold side. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna swatch a little bit of the pink for you. Because I'm going to use the gold today. So. Okay. That was a fail. <laughs> we get a little out of there. You didn't see that. Um. Kind of looks like. Glitter. Just pure. Glitter. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Mm, now I'm nervous. I don't want to mess up my whole eye look. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. Let's get a little out of here. I like how these close, but I guess I'm just going to have to do it this way. Ooh. Surely that is enough. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take my Moda Studio Highlight Brush and pick up a little bit of that. Maybe I should put some in my inner corner first. You guys can't tell I'm nervous, can you? Hold that thought. Elf Concealer Brush. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of that and pop it on the inner corner. Oh, it's beautiful in the inner corner. Ooh. That's pretty. Let's just slightly feather it into that other shade. Wow, can you imagine if I would have sprayed this? Maybe just a tad bit on the tippy top of my brow bone. Okay, this is going to be glittery, but it might not be too bad. Alright, so we're going for it. Are you ready? You guys see that? Oh my goodness, that's pretty. It is glittery, without a doubt. But that is pretty. Mm hmm. That's not. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of super glittery highlight, but that's pretty. I mean, look at that. 
and the glitter falls off some so at least using this brush it does Oh my gosh. Wet n Wild has good highlights. This was just a little more glittery than I was expecting. Okay, the Cupid's bow, tip of the nose. Oh, I just wanna, I just wanna keep going and never stop. Mm. What do you guys think? Okay, let's get to final thoughts, shall we? And this, folks, is the final look. What do you guys think? I think I look like the Tin Man. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> but in a good way. I really like I really like these products so far. I mean, the eyeshadows. I was a little disappointed in the difference between these two shades because on the eyes they don't look as different as I was hoping. Um, the black blended pretty good, so I was happy with that. Love the shimmers I used. Oh, love them. Um, I do definitely want to try out some of these other shimmers in this palette, though. And, of course, the mattes, because, I mean, mm, look at that. Mm, terrible swatcher. Hang on. Mm, that one's a little disappointing. That's uh, Don't Be a Lion right there. Uh, but yeah, the other ones are really pretty. So yeah, I'm excited to do a couple more looks with this palette. I think I may, um, down the road, do some more looks because I still have so many palettes that I want to do some multiple looks with. So, I mean, this is going to be down on the totem pole. If I forget about it, comment on my videos. and Let me know out of the videos that you've seen me do lately um, what you want to see some multi-look videos on, maybe. And that would help me out because sometimes I'm like, uh, do people still want to see this? Yes, no. Anyway. I like this palette. I like the eye look I came up with. Let me know what you think of this eye look down in the comments. And if you got this palette and what you think of it. Um, the highlighter. Mm, I love this gold. I'm curious to see what the... I'm not a huge fan of pinky highlighters, but I'm really curious to see what it looks like. So I am going to give it a shot. I really like this setting spray so far. Um, I think it added to my Tin Man effect I have going on, but that's okay. Because we're in quarantine, baby. We can be whatever we want. Anyway, I'd like to give a huge congratulations and shout out to Bretman Rock. I'm sure you put a lot of time and effort into this collection, and I have enjoyed what I did pick up out of it. So, yeah. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. That's going to wrap up another Teresa Tries Tutorials. I hope you're having a wonderful night or day whenever you're watching this video. I hope you'll consider liking this video. And if you're new here, subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you around for future videos. Um, I've been trying to film when Thomas is sleeping so that we can actually have some peace and quiet because I sometimes wonder if He's the reason people don't want to watch my videos because he does get kind of obnoxious sometimes, but he's just jealous because he's who I spend every day with, all day with. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it if you made it this far. And yeah, we'll see you on the next Teresa Tries Tutorials. Bye, guys. Mwah. <laughs>